Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. You guys have been asking recently for an updated skincare routine. I am obsessed with skincare, and if I could, I would have like the craziest 12 step skincare routine, but unfortunately my skin just can't handle that. It likes simplicity. So if you're like me and your skin is very reactive, or if you just don't have the time for that kind of routine or the patience, then this video is for you. So I threw a bit of makeup on now. It's not perfect. I just did it for this video um, because one of the crucial steps in my routine is removing my makeup and I have it down to a T. I am so lazy when it comes to removing my makeup, but I do it every single night. I will not fall asleep with makeup on ever, ever, ever. So I like something that's very quick and easy and efficient. And that is my Glossier Milky Jelly Cleanser. This is always my first step in my cleansing routine if I'm wearing makeup. If I'm not, then I just move right on to cleanser. So I'm gonna put my headband on first. Sorry, it's very blown out. I'm right by my bathroom window but this is where my zinc is. But what I love about this is that it's super gentle and calming, removes my makeup, and doesn't burn my eyes. So I can actually open my eyes, which I'll show you in a second. I use this on dry skin. So it comes out like this. It's a gel, it looks sexual, we know. And I just massage this on to dry skin. And you're gonna see me look really crazy in about a couple seconds. And I just give myself like a little facial massage especially over my eyes where I'm breaking down that mascara and eyeshadow and I can open my eyes and see that I look insane but this stuff is really gentle so you can open your eyes and see what you're doing and it doesn't burn so then what I do is I take a clean washcloth and I get it wet with tepid water which is not warm it's not cold it's just right in the middle so then I just put it on my face and I just start wiping it off and this is like a less wasteful more pleasant version of a makeup wipe there's a lot less tugging involved it's a lot gentler and I just throw, I have a bunch of these. You can get a pack of them at Target. They're really inexpensive. And then I just throw this in the wash and then I have a different one to use tomorrow. Look, it's completely gone. That is how easy it is to remove your makeup with Milky Jelly. So next up in my cleansing routine is I move on to cleanser. It's so blown out, but this is the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser. Um, and I just wash my face like usual, same tepid water. And I do this step just to remove any last trace of dirt or makeup that may be left behind. This one you don't wanna open your eyes when you're using it. Um, it's a very gentle cleanser, but it's not a, you know safe for the eyes like the Milky Jelly. Okay, now my face is clean. I'm just gonna dry it off and I'll be right back. So now my skin is totally clean and no makeup, no dirt, no oil, and it's ready for skincare. I use the Glossier Soothing Face Mist. I was never a toner person. I always would try a toner and then I just could never keep up. Oops. I can never keep up with that additional step in my routine. This I love because it just feels so good, so I always love using it. I just spray it on. And then I just slap myself in the face a bunch of times. This just helps me remember that I'm alive. <laughs> Next, I just go right in with my moisturizer. If I'm feeling a bit dry, I will use this Glossier Super Bounce. It's just a hydrating serum. It has hyaluronic acid and vitamin B5, but right now it's pretty middle of the road. So I just go right in with my Embryolisse, which is my favorite moisturizer. I've just never found a moisturizer I like better than this. My skin just loves it. It's just no frills. Like there's nothing fancy schmancy about it. It's just, it's just very calming. I recommend it to everyone. And, and I'm sure not everyone will love it, but I just love it so much. And my skin hates so many things. So I can never be without this. I love my Embrilis. 
The eye cream I'm using right now is the Ole Hendrickson Banana Bright Eye Cream. Um, I've used quite a bit of this. I'm really liking it a lot. I just dip my finger in, get a little bit of product, smush them together, and then I just tap it around the orbital bone. It just keeps my eyes really hydrated. It sinks right in. It doesn't irritate my eyes. It's a good base for concealer. I just really like it. So since it's during the day, um, I'm going to use SPF, and I use the Pharmacy Green Screen SPF 30. Um, I talked about this in a recent video, that it is the only sunscreen that does not break me out. I don't know why, but my skin hates sunscreen, but it is not an option not to use it. So it took a long time for me to find this sunscreen and I love it so much. So the only thing different about my daily routine and my nightly routine is obviously I won't use the SPF if I'm going to sleep and I've been adding in this Revita Brow product. It's daytime so I'm not going to use it but I just paint it on my brows and I'm just testing this out. I've been using it a couple weeks. I'm noticing my brows are getting fuller but haven't finished the tube yet so TBT. I mean TBC. <laughs> I mean TBD. Anyway, <laughs> but that is the only difference between day and night routine. I don't switch up my products. I just do the same thing. My skin likes it. I keep it that way. Now let's move on to treatment. I do have one product that I use regularly, regularly, which is by Glossy, and it's the Solution Exfoliating Skin Protector. Before I go on, I do want to say that there is, if you're not new to my channel, you know the spiel and you're like, okay, okay, okay. But if you're new to my channel, I do want to say that all Glossier products, you can get 20% off in the link in my description. So if you're interested in trying out any of these Glossier products, the link is down there. No code necessary. It just comes off automatically at checkout. So there's that. But yeah, this is the uh, treatment product that I use. It's 10% AHA, BHA, and PHA salicylic acid acne treatment. So don't worry if you don't have acne, you can still benefit from this product. I don't have acne as you can see, but I love it because I get very congested in my T-zone. I don't really get breakouts, but I get really bad blackheads in my nose and chin. Nose and chin, right. <laughs> and I do have some uneven texture and and tone issues and this has helped immensely it has a little pump so you just put a cotton ball or a cotton pad and you would do this step before moisturizer and you can do it day or night but if you do it during the day make sure you do use an SPF because the acids can make you more susceptible to sun damage but it's great for fine lines, it's great for hyperpigmentation, it's great for uneven skin tone, it's amazing for acne and clogged pores and blackheads and things like that. Go on Glossier's website, they do have before and after pics and it's just incredible, it speaks for itself. Since I started using this when it, whenever it came out, like so many months ago, I get so many more compliments on my skin, that just that it looks so glowy and even. You can use this every single day. I would recommend, especially if you're sensitive or dry, to build up the tolerance. So start with like once or twice a week and then see how your skin reacts and then over time build up to every day if you want. I only use this twice a week because I have some other exfoliating products that I use intermittently. Just figure out what works for you, your skin. Based on how your skin looks and feels, you'll be able to determine if you need more or less. But I always recommend just to start out slower, especially if you're new to exfoliators. These two that I love, I would say equally, um, are, this is the, they're both face masks. And this is the Drunk Elephant TLC Baby Facial. You've probably seen this a million times. Everyone loves it. I'm one of those people. This is a very strong mask. It has, so like this has 10%, this has 25% AHA and 2% BHA. So this is a more heavy duty dose of exfoliation. Um, I put it on, it's a cream base, so I find that it's a lot less drying than some other exfoliators. So I use that depending on what my skin feels like at the time. If I'm feeling more dry, I use that one. If I'm not feeling so dry, I use the Ordinary. And this one is a little bit stronger at 30% AHA and BHA. This is their peeling solution. And it's like a bloody looking gel. When you put it on, you look like you're having one of those vampire facials. These you only want to leave on for about 10 to 20 minutes max. So you don't want to double up on exfoliators. So I won't use those masks on the days that I'm using this. This is like my maintenance, keep my skin looking great. And then these are like my heavy duty, like boot camp 
kind of exfoliators, if that makes sense. A more calming mask that I love to use, I just recently purchased the full size of this. I was using a sample for a while. This is the Pharmacy Honey Potion. It's a beautiful packaging. It's a huge glass jar. It's a magnetic spatula that just attaches to the lid. This stuff's really cool. It looks like honey, and it essentially is honey. Um, but there's other things in it too. But what you do with this is you massage it on. It's so thick. It's like putting honey on your face. But you massage it in and it warms up and it turns like a creamy white. And then you leave that on for about 20 minutes or so. And then um, I just wash it off. And it doesn't leave a residue or anything. That one I use when I need more hydration or when I just want to pamper my skin. It does help clear the skin, but it's also hydrating at the same time. My skin is too sensitive to do like a clay mask. They usually dry me out. So this is more along the lines of something I use when my skin's kind of reacting. I just find that the calmer, the better for me. Now I want to move on to body because, um, you know, that's part of our skin routine too. So for that, I'm going to take you into my bedroom. Okay, so for my body, I use um, a few different products. So when I get out of the shower, I always use this. I love this so much. This is the Whey Hair Care Rose Hair and Body Oil. So this is a hair and body oil. I don't use it in my hair because my hair can get pretty oily pretty quickly, so I don't find that I need this. However, my skin on my body is very, very dry. This is the best smell I've ever smelled. It's so, so, so good. I can't get enough of it. But what I like about it is that it's a dry oil, so I don't feel like I have to wait a long time before I put on my clothes. And it's nice when your skin's already a little bit damp. You just do a couple pumps of this, rub it in. I smell so good. This body lotion by Glossier, it's the Body Hero uh, Daily Perfecting Cream. I keep this in my gym bag and I use that instead of instead of carrying this oil with me, I am too afraid that it's going to like spill out into my backpack and get everywhere. I take this. What I love about this is first of all it smells really good and it's super hydrating. It's like a thick cream, but it dries down instantly. So I literally don't have to be like standing around the gym naked after I put this on before I waiting to put my clothes on. I can put them on right away. So that is the biggest thing I love about this product is that you don't have that like sticky lotiony feeling after that. And it has like a slight, slight sheen to it. I wouldn't say it's like glittery, but it does have a little bit of a sheen to it. So it makes your skin kind of look just very kind of dewy, even though it doesn't feel sticky. And this is a uh, Sleepy by Lush. And it's something that's become part of my nighttime routine. Um, it is a body lotion. It's purple. It smells like lavender and like sugar cookies. And it's just such a nice calming scent. It's also really hydrating and it's become part of my nightly routine. I apply this all over my body before I get into bed and that way I'm hydrating overnight and also the smell is just very calming and soothing. So I've been loving using that at night. This is more of a treatment product that I use only in certain areas. This is by Naya24 and it's a sun damage repair for decollete and hands. So this I use strictly on my chest and on my arms and hands. I've noticed recently that I have some sun damage popping up that likely happened, you know, in my teenage years. And I notice it on my chest and on my arms, which obviously get the most sun. Luckily, I apply SPF on my face, but not as religiously on other parts of my body throughout my life up until this point. So um, I'm kind of, well, well, I'm using this as damage control right now. Um, and I wouldn't say I've noticed a difference. I mean, sun damage is really hard to get rid of, but um, I figure it's better than nothing, right? <laughs> to keep uh, the sun damage from getting any worse, I have sun bum and any sunscreen works. I just happen to have this one and I love it. I don't use this on my face. I use this strictly for my body and I put this pretty much everywhere else. I put this mostly on my neck and my chest every single day, but again, depending on what clothing I'm wearing, I'll put it everywhere else. Okay. This is like the classic sunscreen smell, like banana bow. It reminds me of childhood. I'm one of those people that love sunscreen and it just smells so good, but I don't necessarily want to be walking around smelling like sunscreen all the time. So it is nice and pleasant to put it on. However, it does, the smell does dissipate so I can put my perfume on and it's not like competing with each other. Last thing is, I guess I'm just gonna throw this in because it's 
part of my routine is GlossierBalm.com. This is the one I keep in my nightstand. It's the flavorless one. Sometimes when I'm falling asleep, I don't want like a lot of flavors in my mouth. But I have every single flavor and I have them stashed everywhere. You can ask anyone. It's always like in my pocket, in my purse, in my car, next to my bed. It's everywhere. I'm never without it and I'm always constantly applying it. And I just always slather like a thick amount on my lips and when I wake up, they're just so, so, so soft. So that's it. That's my entire skincare routine, day and night, and things I've been using lately and things that have been working for me. So I hope this was interesting or helpful for you. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Comment down below if you've tried any of these things or what your favorite products are, and I'll see you in my next video.